Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the big reveal of my Marilyn Monroe portrait tattoo. I know this video has been very, very much long awaited. You guys have been asking to see it. You guys have been asking me about pain, healing, pricing, all that good stuff. So this video is going to be fully covering all of that in this video and I'm going to be showing it and all that good stuff. So first things first, obviously you will notice that comments have been disabled on this video just for the reason that I do not care to hear people's opinions on it. I am simply making this video for people who want to know about this tattoo and my personal experience getting the tattoo and healing. But um, yeah, usually I always disable comments on my tattoo videos, not because I don't like my tattoos. I love my tattoos, but a lot of people on my YouTube do not like my tattoos. So I just feel that it's better for everybody if comments are just disabled so there's no arguments and no mean things said. So yeah. So let's go ahead and start. So my Marilyn Monroe tattoo is on my right thigh. If you guys remember my first ever getting a text. My first ever portrait tattoo is on my left calf and that one I did do a full video on as well. That one was extremely painful so when it came, when it came time to get my uh, thigh tattoo uh, I was pretty nervous about the pain just because the lower calf was a really sensitive spot for me. So I got the tattoo on June 1st of 2016 which was of course Marilyn Monroe's birthday. If she was still alive she would have been 90 years old and I specifically wanted to get the tattoo on her birthday rather than any other day. A lot of people also wanted to know where I went and got the tattoo. I go to Wealthy Street Tattoo and I go to Johnny Spinoso for all of my portraits. He's an amazing artist. He really kind of takes detail into consideration and really takes his time and really focuses on making it the best tattoo that you could have. So I do go there for all of my portraits and then I also go there for a majority of my other tattoos. Um, so that is where I go and as far as pricing goes, the total of my Marilyn Monroe tattoo was $500. Obviously portrait tattoos do tend to range a little bit higher than just a regular tattoo like a flower or a bird or anything like that just because portraits do tend to carry a lot more detail and a lot more in-depth you know just ways of getting a portrait tattoo. So I had a total of two sessions on the tattoo. The first session was, uh, I think I got there at noon and then it lasted maybe five, five and a half hours, I'm pretty sure. And then when I went back for the second session, it was about two hours. So maybe altogether seven and a half hours of tattooing. The pain during getting the tattoo it was it was it was tolerable but it was definitely painful from beginning to end and then obviously as the time went on and there was more shading being done and my skin started to get really raw it did start to get really really painful towards maybe about the last hour or so I was laying down and like pulling my hair back because I was just hitting my max pain scale for that day so it definitely was a painful tattoo to get it was by no means pleasant but at the same time it was very very much tolerable and your artist does take into consideration that you are getting a tattoo you are going to be in pain so they do know what kind of stress your body is under so they do take that into consideration and they do give you breaks every now and again just so you can kind of relax breathe walk around have some water go to the bathroom you know whatever in the beginning it was maybe about a 5 out of 10 and then towards the end it was definitely a 10 out of 10 mine took a very long time to heal I got it in June 1st and it is the middle of August right now so and it is finally to that point of pretty much healed after all my sessions and things like that so healing was a little bit rough it did it it was painful to walk for a while, um, but not as painful as my first portrait tattoo. With that one, I was like limping because I was in so much pain. So basically what I did for healing is I used my Lubriderm non-scented lotion for the first few days, and then I would use a very thin layer of Aquaphor healing ointment over top of it, uh, just to keep it moisturized, but not overly moisturized, you know what I mean? And then when I would go to work, obviously I have to wear long pants for work, so I would just take like some clear wrap, um, put the the ointment on just a very thin layer wrap it up tape it up just so it was protected from my pants so it wasn't getting rubbed or anything like that and I just did that for a couple days and then whenever I came home I tried to stay in shorts or no pants at all just to kind of let the air get to it and just you know 
breathe as much as possible and all that good stuff. Maybe a few days after I got the tattoo, it started to get that wrinkly appearance and started to peel, which is totally normal when you get a tattoo. Obviously, that's just all the dead skin flaking off. And then the tattoo is revealed underneath all of the peeled skin. Um, for anyone who is asking, and obviously you will see, I did get it in black and gray. I decided against color because I'm actually not that big of a fan of color tattoos. I am very much a black and gray type person when it comes to tattoos. So all my future portraits will be done black and gray. I just like that style best and I think it looks the best and ages the best in my opinion. So after the first session was done, um, I waited for it to fully heal and peel and then of course I went back for the second session, which I said was maybe about two hours and then after that, again, a lot of swelling, a lot of redness and a lot of pain. That's one thing I noticed about this particular tattoo is it stayed red for a very long time and it took a very long time to heal. This was definitely one of my longest healing tattoos and in some spots it does kind of have like that shiny appearance because after it fully peels and all that you will notice some parts of it will stay shiny for a while. Again totally normal I just kept lotion on it and kept an eye on it and all that good stuff and you can also ice it to help with the swelling and all that good stuff. So again, after the second session, I kept it wrapped whenever I was at work and then I would let it air out and I would apply like the ointment maybe one to two times a day, especially when I woke up and before I went to bed were like the two main times that I applied the ointment. So yeah, that's basically everything about the tattoo. Um, the picture that I went with um, for this particular tattoo is a photo shoot that was done with Marilyn Monroe. It's a very, very beautiful picture. It is one of my favorite pictures and when he was tattooing it he said this is by far the hardest portrait tattoo he's ever done just because there is so many shadows because it was a black and white picture and there were studio lights so there was just a lot of shadows on her face that he had to try to incorporate in here especially on her left eye her left eye tends to be always a little bit more closed in her um, pictures that she takes that's just kind of Marilyn Monroe's classic look which I absolutely love a lot of people always asked if she had a lazy eye which she did that's just how she was always photographed is just one eye was a little bit more closed than the other so he tried to translate that the best he could and I love this tattoo it's absolutely beautiful without further ado let me go ahead and show you the tattoo in depth up close you guys can take a look at it and all that good stuff so let's go okay so here is my Marilyn Monroe tattoo as you can see it is pretty decently sized up on my thigh here and that is what she looks like so there is the big reveal of my Marilyn Monroe tattoo. She is absolutely beautiful. He did the hair, the lips, the earrings, um, the shirt down here, um, her eyes, eyebrows, all that good stuff. The dark shading that you're seeing in the back here, that was definitely the most painful spot because especially when he got right down to the inner part of the knee, that was extremely painful. So yeah, that is what she looks like couple months after being fully done and somewhat healed. Some parts are a little bit shiny, but it doesn't itch anymore or anything like that. So that is a good thing. That is the tattoo. What do you guys think of it? Whether you like it, don't like it, don't really care because it's on my body, not yours. So if you don't like it, don't stress about it. If you like it, awesome. Okay guys, so that is everything that I have for my Marilyn Monroe tattoo, all about it, pricing, pain, healing, and what it actually looks like. Um, I'm not 100% sure because to be perfectly honest, I have lost count on how many tattoos that I do have. Um, when I do count them all up and I think I have the right number, I will put that down in the description box, but I am in the very high teens, if not early 20s, of how many tattoos I have. So I have quite a few. Um, I am definitely planning on getting more in the future because I am definitely a tattoo to Fiend. I definitely like tattoos way more than piercings now. So yeah, that is everything for that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!